Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Nazi Factory, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about the recent protests that we've had at Wits University. Guys, if you like my videos, please make sure to subscribe, uh, like, comment below, please, please, please. Um, we've seen, like, yesterday, essentially, two days ago, if by the time you're watching this video, um, the mess that happened, you know, at Wits University, just continuously showing us how our police force cannot, cannot, cannot crowd control and how they apparently know how to use force with black people but can't use force with other people of different colors and it's just embarrassing guys it's very embarrassing <sighs> guys students just want to go to school students want to go learn students want to go progress themselves guys i can't believe having people to like protest wanting to change their future Literally, if that's not what ANC was fighting for in apartheid, please tell me what it is. Because like, the four students are met with, it's just scary, guys. This is just not making sense. People are getting shot of rubber bullets that penetrate the skin, literally making people bleed, stun grenades. But when people tip over police vans, when they burn a police truck, you know, maybe because they, they're, they're wearing Camp Master and their skin's a bit lighter, that they don't get, you know, affected by the police or they have some sort of magic invisible shield that the police won't touch certain individuals because they they're of a fairer skin color this is just embarrassing on the government the entire situation with nationals and universities is getting completely out of hand we need a solution and we need a solution now students want to go to class students want to change their lives want to better themselves in a country where jobs are literally next to none People are not skilled enough when students want to actually go do that and you want to tell them that no, you mustn't protest, let's go, stay home, listen to government. What, what kind of thing is that? This is the same government that fought to get where we are. Now you're telling students that they can't go and protest on the streets. That's fucking disgusting. I can't allow that, guys. That's not grand at all. We can't allow that. Guys, we need a solution. Guys, if that, if that means our, our ruling party, guys, really needs to be voted out this year in 2024, let it be the case, guys. Because there is money for this thing. There is money. People must stop acting like there's no money for students. A thing. We saw that last year. It's not that last year, guys. Money was getting thrown around like it was nothing. I'm sure the money that was spent on, okay, PPEs in particular. Let's say we don't have COVID. Guys, we could have covered all of that. Easily could have covered that. But we're having the same mess every single January, every single February and March when it comes to students. The money is there. Do we have, people have the will to actually do change? No, guys, people are interested in their own selves, guys. That's, that's a politician, guys. Politicians don't care about you. They care about their in own interests. That's first and foremost. They're human beings. Nam now, NG. So I think we have to get these people off their high horses thinking that they're gods. And they must they put them back into their place as human beings that they really just are. And they must know that, you know, you can be taken out for such things, guys. A man was shot and dead. Shot, killed. I mean, um, a civilian. Guy that came literally went to go to a doctor's appointment and was killed by police imagine that what kind of police force does that tell you we have guys that if i just show up and there's, my, and there's a protest i'm just walking back home and i get shot by police it's how these people are not trained enough these people that are not guided in the correct ways and that whoever shot whoever those police officers are really i hope they go to hell bro i hope they go to jail i hope they never get to serve ever again in their lives but you know, the bureaucracy that we have in South Africa, that might take another four years before that person is on trial anyway. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments below about the recent protests. And this isn't just about VITS. I think it's bigger than VITS. Some institutions get more noise than others. This is way more than just VITS. Let me know in the comments below, guys. Thank you for watching my video. And again, I'll see you in the next video. Sure.